Let's get started with the rules for the uh, 24th Mikabash competition. Number one, keep it civil, no fighting. Number two, majority of cooking must be done on site. Points! Prep work, Points. Can, be, prep work can be done in advance. Baksha must be cooked in house, day off. Number three, come prepared to feed normal. Now, if you look over here to the scorecard, we have four contestants Riri, Mad, John, and Laura. It's gonna be uh, five categories that you're gonna be judged on. Plating, the taste, the texture, ingredient quality, complexity of recipe, and number six, last but not least, is it good a botch? Gonna tally all these mothers up, we're gonna get a total on the bottom. Make a little love, get bashed in it. Get bashed in it. Sunday dinner, like my little nephew Larry, baby Larry would say. Oh, a family recipe, huh? Yeah, it's right. fajol and meatballs, and then we're gonna have pasta with a dollop of old fashioned uh, hot cheese and ricotta salada on top. Oh, now that sounds like a good box. Telling me this was a Metagonda. Yeah, her lasagna is a, is a Metagonda. Chicken basil, mm. and then homemade meatballs, pork, veal, and beef with onion, garlic, and a homemade pork brajol. <gasps> is that the one on the left? <laughs> Riri, I just want to say I'm honored to judge your brajola. I mean, as someone that's bringing the love of Sunday dinner uh, to the brajola, the long, slow, tender braise, the succulence, the sweetness of the meat, I'm excited. You know what they call that in time? That's a sucker up. <laughs> Tomato sauce with a secret ingredient of Mars. <laughs> Mars capone cheese. cheese. Yes, yes. And it'll be layered up with a little bit of ricotta in the middle, and then we bake it for an hour. So I'm up for it. Now, the secret ingredient you were saying earlier, what exactly is it? Cello, mascarpone cheese. You put it into the entire pot and it comes rich and creamy. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Where is it? Get in your spoon. Drop on gold, yeah. Mmm! Mmm! Leftover ingredients. If you treat me right, you take the next tray home. Okay. Sherry, is lasagna pasta? Melon. It's so light. Mm. Is it? It's oh, so it's delicious. Out, right? It is light. Your sauce, it's not too salty. It is so flavorful. I love it. Now, I, I really, it's funny because, you know, we were making the fresh pasta sheets. I've never had a fresh pasta sheet lasagna like this. And it is delicious. Number four, baby, on the world. It's beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Very nice. 
So now, then, what kind of lamb did you use um, that you Normally, braised? I use a lamb shank, but you want to know what? I needed so much of it that mm -hmm. I decided to use a bonus leg of lamb. Oh, wow. Like lamb. Which worked perfectly because mm -hmm. it slow cooked for six hours and cooled for four hours. And that's mm -hmm. until the, uh, mm -hmm. the whole thing came down to town. Mm -hmm. And it was easier to shred. Well, I say that you know, there's, there's delicacy in the pasta itself and there's a matching delicacy in the meat if, yeah. if they if, you know so look they, how beautifully it's held they, together they pull together from yeah, on the cut it's amazing i mean look at it they're it's together gorgeous. on on the palate like the, yeah so compliments Beautiful. on both the braise yeah. and the making of i the don't pasta. think i would ever do a like a regular beef lasagna again this lamb is Absolutely, the happy chef. Absolutely, I love it. And what can we expect uh, from you today, Basha wise? Bolognese. Ooh, that's tough. Very tough. Very, very complex. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. You have to get freshest of ingredients. Right. Okay. And then I have a parcadelli pasta. Ooh, the long ones, right? And a little then ribbons. And top with some grand Madonna cheese. Ooh! Grand Madonna. What competition could I possibly have? Down. I got one making a sausage or broccoli rob sandwich. The other one making a meatball sandwich. And this one over here is baked lasagna. Mine is so intense. The mirepoix, the mirepoix took 45 minutes to render. Really? And, and This kitchen is with uh, ample uh, stovetop space. You still felt the need to bring your own burgers. What is that? Well, because my sister Madeline over there, chef of the future, will clog the stove up with all her stuff that she bought prepackaged already. But mine's fresh, authentic. Right. Okay. First contestant is uh, Chef Giovanni making a bolognese sauce. How do we feel amongst the judges on a bolognese sauce? I love a good bolognese. I'm very excited about a bolognese. I think it's a bold move. Bolognese is a tough one. It's, uh, you can overdo it, a little too much cream, the wrong meat. Could be a little too complex, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bold, bold move by Giovanni. Yeah. Now, Laura, uh, word on the street expected to win this finale. What can we expect out of you for the final box? Today I'm making homemade artichette, broccoli rob, and sausage alamani. Wow, you know artichette stands for elephant ears, right? Little yes. elephant ears? Yes, it does. All right, we're all going to be a bunch of elephants by the end of the meal, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, what do the ingredients call for? About a half a pound of olive oil? <laughs> yeah, a half a pound of olive oil. Right now I am crisping my homemade breadcrumbs. Mm. Now, what, uh, what are the ingredients on this breadcrumb? The breadcrumbs are um, with uh, fresh bread, parsley, garlic, and cheese. Oh, what kind of cheese? Pecorino Romano. Mm -hmm. Now we got a mother's recipe over here by Laura. Yeah, Mamie, she loves the anchovy. Judges, how do we feel about anchovies in this dish? Oh, I love anchovies when you add it to a dish. It makes it special. Oh, mm. Oh, but there's a little spice, a little chili there in there. Is. Kick it up a notch. All right. We need a little fire. We need a little fire with the archietta. Hope it ain't too fishy. We're looking forward <laughs> Honestly, the sausage perfectly cooked. Mm -hmm. Not overly greasy. To what it's right. adding to the sauce, the broth is clear with the juice from the broccoli rabe. Mm -hmm. The toasting of the breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. Perfect balance with the garlic and the mm -hmm. chili flake. Mm -hmm. Pasta perfectly cooked. I have to add that the so broccoli rabe is cooked perfectly. Oh, it's that it's not like you know, it's it's not too hard. Sometimes people like. I Very first time offered uh, a Colonel's Cup Award, which is 
notoriously famous for looking like me. I had some of the four best pasta dishes of my life. I'm not Italian and I don't have an Italian restaurant, but I have to say that the one dish that stood out had vegetables and it had a little more texture and maybe that was the, the thing for me but i have to say everything was the most delicious i i'm gonna think about it tomorrow i loved every minute a tough competition there was a lot of passion brought to these plates today from the bolognese to the detail put into the preparation of the broccoli rabe, the selection of meats in the bolognese, the tender braise of the of the, the lamb in the lasagna, the, the taking the risk of the brujol and the meat all together in one dish. An amazing day, but for me, the home one, the one that brought it home to my palate, was the orchetta with the broccoli rabe and the sausage. Yeah, that was more my uh, that was my home run. For me, I have to say that uh, any one of these meals would have ranked at the top of the my list for the finest Italian restaurants I've eaten in anywhere. The quality of the ingredients, the preparation, the taste, unrivaled anywhere I've ever been. Um, I am Sicilian, which makes it even more difficult because I know the consequences of being a difficult judge and a critical judge under these things. So this may be the last time I'm invited here, or it may be the last time anybody ever sees me again. <laughs> Getting back to the food, this is not about me. John's, uh, John's dish was sensational with the quality of the ingredients, how finely he prepared everything so it was perfectly sized, perfectly blended together. Can't say enough about that. What can I say? Rary, this is Sunday, and we were eating pasta on Sunday. So Sunday dish, that's what she made, that's what uh, appealed to my heart. Oh, and the color, the flavor, the textures, the mixture of just a little bit of the dried uh, regocca salada on top of the standard regocca. Sensational, sensational choices. And then we have the broccoli, uh, or excuse me, the arqueta with the sausage. Again, traditional meal, but added so many specific de delicate flavors to it. A little bit of anchovy, a little bit of red pepper to get Last but not least, lasagna. <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. The lasagna was terrific. So delicate of a noodle, so delicate of a sauce. The braising of the lamb instead of beef, out of this world. There are no losers, all winners. Where's the host? I have no idea. Mark's disappeared. We have no idea. The People's Choice Award here at the Dish of Pops Bash is after the formal judges had performed all their scores, we give the opportunity for all the people at the bash to pick who they like the best. Okay, so the first one is Riri with one point. And with that, we add one point to Riri. <laughs> one, seven, three. Madeline, five. Oh. Which brings Madeline to 170, but not good enough. Okay. John, four. Yay! Which brings him to a miserable 160. <laughs> Laura. Seven. Oh, and a surprise combined winning number of wow. 177 for Laura. 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 And therefore, for one annual, for the one Colonel's annual. Cup for this year is awarded, awarded to Laura. Two in the competition. 